In this video, I will be showcasing the best transitions that you can create in Premiere Pro. These transitions are extremely useful in your edits and you can even save them as a preset for future use. If you want to save your a lot of time, you can check out my shameless transition pack. This pack includes over 100 transitions with 22 different categories. The transitions are easy to use. Simply drag and drop them into your video. Work with any resolution, even 4K. You can find the link to this pack in the the description below must check it out all right so the first transition we are going to create is a slide transition which is smooth and effective so i have a two different video clip right here so the first thing we need to do is to create an adjustment layer drag and drop it above to your video clip now go to effects and search for offset drag it onto your adjustment layer now go to effects control and here we have a shift center create a default keyframe right here move few frames ahead like so and now we need to increase the x-axis value until it's matched with our default frame like so as you can see it works good now we need to make it smooth for that just drop down this arrow key and now Change the curves like that to make your transition more smooth. Now go to effects and search for directional blur. Drag and drop it onto your adjustment layer. Now we need to change the direction angle. As we are moving from right to left or left to right, you can go with a 90. If you are moving from top to bottom or bottom to top, you can go with a 270 value. So now we need to create a blur keyframe right here and just increase its value. So for now, I'm go with a 150, which is looks perfect for me. Now go back to the first frame and change this blur length value to zero go to the last frame and change this blur value to zero to make it more smooth just drop down this arrow key and change it like that and the last one as well and finally here is the final result The next transition is a light leak or overlay transition. This type of transition can be incredibly useful since it works with almost any kind of video. To create this transition, you will need to use light leak or overlays. Personally, I use Innovato Elements for all of my stock footages since they have an extensive collection of everything that we need for our edits. Innovato Elements offer millions of graphics and video templates for every software that you can use with just drag and drop. They also have a vast library of stock videos, music, sound effects and much more. You can check out Envato Elements by clicking the link I have mentioned in the description below. So here I have a couple of light leaks that I downloaded from Envato. So all you need to do is to just drag any one of it onto your video clip like that. You just need to find out the brightest part of the video. As you can see it is the brightest frame over here. So we just need to add a marker here by press M and just drag it between your two video clip like that you can adjust the length if you really like to do so i'm just go with this one and now select your light leaks just go to effects control and change its blend mode to screen yeah it looks really good you can also add some sound effect to make it more natural for that i'm using a burning wood whoosh sound effect you can find it on invato element as well so i just arrange it under our video clip By using this light leaks or overlays, you can make your cinematic music videos more powerful within a second. You can check it out in Vato Elements, link mentioned in the description below. The next transition we have is masking transition. This transition is really smooth. To make this transition, the first part should have something that cover the entire screen and passes out of the frame. In my case, I have this video clip. As you can see, I have this bus which actually passes from the screen and it actually cover the entire screen so this footage will be great to make a masking transition so for creating this transition all we need to do is to select the frame where the bus is actually started moving out of the frame select your footage go to effects control and here select this pen tool now select the area where the bus is actually moving out of the frame and now click on this invert button to invert your footage create a mask path keyframe right here now move ahead one or two frames ahead select your mask again move ahead one or two frames again and just masking it until the bus is out of the frame 
and there we are just cover the whole screen at the end like so here you can see we have just cover the screen like that which cover looks good and at the end just move back your first frame move back one or two frames like that select your mask and drag it to back like that so it will be just starting right away and now drag your first video clip to the second video track drag your second video under your first video so it will give you something like that which looks really perfect as you can see you can also change the feather to around 15 to 20 percent and at the last you can add some kind of whooshes sound to make it more even perfect and here is the final result The last transition we have is a swipe one. I don't know the exact name but this transition is my favorite one personally. I'm using it a lot because it looks really smooth. You can even use this for your text which also looks perfect. So I have a two video clips right here. So the first thing we need to do is to drag our first video clip to the second video track and now drag your second video under your first video to the frame that you want to use you can also use adjustment layer for creating this transition but i will prefer this method so just drag it a little bit under your first video clip like so and now we need to cut out this first video part so i just press ctrl k and drag it back to our first video clip so here we have an extra video part right here so just go to effects and search for transform drag and drop it onto your extra video part right here and now here we have our properties right here so firstly we need to click on this uniform scale create a positioning keyframe and now move forward few frames ahead change the vertical value you can go with the upward or lower so uh, for now i'm go with a down just move it until your video is just disappear from the frame so it will be look like this as you can see it's smooth but it actually are uh, really slow so we want to make it little bit faster so for that i just drag this first keyframe to the like so and drag it little bit just drop down this arrow keys and just change it little bit like so so it will give you a smooth transition like swipe one you can also use it to, to upward or left to right it's actually your choice to make it more effective you can also add a directional blur for that just uncheck this use composition angle and change the shutter angle to 360 and here you can see and at the end you can add some kind of whooshes to make it more perfect here is the final result So yeah that's all for today's video i hope you find it helpful if you did please consider to subscribing my youtube channel and leave a comment if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one